Buenos dias, buenos dias. Guys, can we just talk about the, the bus stop that I'm waiting at? I'm probably gonna have to shout because you probably can't hear me. But um, yeah, we're just heading out into Estepona again. I think that's literally our favorite spot. I'm gonna have to check if you guys can even hear me if this is worth like adding this to the footage. But um, yeah, we're a bit annoyed because we've been like getting taxi into Estepona. And we've realised that after all this time we could have just walked down this road for like 15 minutes and then get the bus which is like 1 euro 40 and now Shona <laughs> Shona is literally making us feel so bad I told them you know I told because basically after all this we could have saved like 50 euros but it's fine it's honestly fine but on to, on to another note, can we just talk about this bus stop? Like, it's in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> like, what is that about? Like, we literally have to wait here, it's so odd. But oh well, at least it's only Euro 40. Hey, so we just come back from the beach. How did you guys find the beach? Amazing. Coming back tomorrow to get lit. Yeah, we're literally coming back tomorrow. Sorry about the lighting, guys. It's literally... Sun's about to set soon. Well, not soon, but shortly. Oh, my God, there's the a freaking wild cat. Jesus. Um, but yeah, it was so much fun. It was really calming and the sun was just a night... Nice, not the sun, sorry. The weather was a nice temperature. Oh, God. Let's put some sunglasses on. <laughs> looks super oily but yeah the sun was just really nice weather was a nice temperature so just sunbathing chilling in the water but yeah man so we literally had to go we only was able to spend like an hour and a half or two hours there because we've booked like a segway experience what i'm not really this oily it's literally just the sunlight so don't come for me but yeah um we booked a Segway yesterday, so we're gonna go and do a Segway experience, which should be super fun. But we're literally running so late, we're running like 20 minutes late. We should be there at eight o'clock, and it's like quarter to eight. Oh, and we start our breath and walking up this hill. So long, but yeah, I will catch you guys in a bit when we're like. Like spit out when we're about to get on the set. So stop in the middle. In the middle. Oh, okay. A little, a little forward. Where am I going? Only a finger. Segway. Yeah. You actually get in there. Yeah. Well, that should do. Yes, they can't. They can't do <laughs> Segway life. Skirt, skirt. These lot have come into a bit of a problem. Oops, sorry. They're finding it difficult to use if the segways. You, if you see, if you see, I've actually been alright with it to be honest. Like, all this lighting is a bit mad. But watch me sound more right with it and then watch me crash. <laughs> Your girl got it first time. <laughs> welcome back so um the last time you saw me i think i was doing the um segway tour around malaga which was really really good but i've been at the beach today and you wouldn't even believe it i've been stung by a freaking jellyfish i'm so annoyed it's so painful 
like if you like have been stung by a jellyfish you will know how bad the pain is like and it's one of those things where it's like you wouldn't think that would happen to you wrong it will happen to you and it's so bad like i'll insert a clip and a video so you guys can see exactly what it looks like because you know like i've got my sandals on now and i can't be bothered to like show you right now and my legs are dry but <laughs> yeah oh my god guys it's like the worst thing ever like if you haven't been stung by a jellyfish the only way i could describe it is like you know if, if like if you were to like touch a nettle bush like you know those bushes that sting your hands it's like that but like times 10 so it's like a nettle type of sting and like i was just taking pictures of my friend in the sea and then like i just felt something like wrapping around my ankle and i just thought oh it's probably like some seaweed or something but then like i felt something just like tighten its grip on my ankle and i was like no 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 some something's not right here so i looked down and it was like a freaking jellyfish and it stings so bad right now God. but yeah um so i like moved my legs so quickly and i was like ah and i just saw the little thing like swimming away i was like wow it's so annoying and it's so painful and yeah it's not true that you're meant to pee on it like if you get stung don't pee on it um i've just like followed this nhs guideline it just says to pour seawater on it and i've taken like an allergy tablet so let's hope my ankle doesn't swell up guys it's already swelled but let's just hope it doesn't get too crazy oh i'm so annoyed guys <laughs> Right on the last day of the holiday, I'm fuming. <laughs> hey guys, so welcome back. So since the jellyfish freak accident, a little bit more has happened since then. So let me just sit down and update you guys. So basically, um, we were meant to, let me just move this in my light we were meant to actually leave um malaga this morning but like say about three o'clock this morning my friend was trying to check us in sorry about my voice if it's crusty i just had a nap my friend was trying to check us in and um it just kept saying like unable to check in unable to check in so she phoned the airline just to find out um whether she can just check in at the airport because there's she just assumed there was like a fault with like the website or something no so the girl was just like oh hang on a second um i can see that your flight has been delayed so you won't be leaving at this time anymore you're going to be leaving at this time now so our flight has literally been rescheduled for 13 whole hours later so we were meant to leave early morning today but we're actually going to be leaving at like two three o'clock tonight like as in the next morning so monday morning we're gonna be leaving instead so at first i was a bit like oh my god like that's so annoying i wanted to go home but i've kind of like seen it in a positive way because like we've got an extra day in the sun um to be fair the airline have treated us really really well to be fair um we just like took our time we was actually able to have breakfast with Whereas if we actually left um, to get our morning flight, we wouldn't have enough time to eat at the buffet at our own apartment hotel. So that was good. We was able to eat breakfast and then took our time and like checked out like when you can check out like, you know, like 12 o'clock or something. So that was quite all right. Um, and yeah, and then we just like went to the airport and then one of the supervisors sorted us out with a taxi and, um, they took us to our hotel which was really good so we're at hotel number two and um yeah luckily like one of my friends who works for the airline she messaged me and said oh i'm on that flight i'm working that flight so i'll keep you updated with everything so that's really nice so at least we've got somebody that can like tell us a bit more but um yeah it's all just a bit crazy really because if we hadn't of called the airline to say that we can't check in and just to suggest that is it okay if we check in at the airport they told us everything that happened well that's going to be happening so it's a bit annoying but then at the same time we've 
it's kind of all right because we can like chill in the sun and have another day in spain luckily i booked the next day off work because imagine like landing at like early morning and i would have had to like call in to say i'm not coming into work so that's all right it's fine but yeah i'll give you guys a hotel tour of course um i didn't actually show you the other hotel apologies about that but <laughs> i will show you this one um yeah it's like it's been all right because they've like given us vouchers and um, they gave us like 15 euros to spend in starbucks like who spends 15 euros in starbucks not me but um yeah like that was that was fun <laughs> so i was like can I have this this greens greens potatoes tomatoes yams yams chicken 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 you know that kind of thing um but yeah so that was pretty cool got some nice cake and little bits and bobs i think we have somebody at the door hello shona hello what is going on in your room are you okay i was just giving the guys a, um a quick overview about what's happened oh sorry now you're not interrupting it's fine so hey you can see me um this is the bathroom send the bathroom it's all right if you want to do where my dress is from, it's a little bit creased, you know, just been sleeping. Um, it's from ASOS, so it's pretty cute. Um, yeah, and it just opens out into, so it's a little bit messy, been napping. Um, yeah, it just opens out into like this main area, two single beds. And I thought this was so cute, like, I said, welcome to Malaga here. Put them on the wall. I'm like a free cheese of Pringles. I'm just looking at these. Oh, dear. Where do we start? It's half two. Malaga time. And we've got another two hours to wait. Oh, God. Like, yeah. It's, it's just madness. So, um, for those watching on my channel, I last left you guys when I said that the flight was cancelled and then rescheduled to... Um, they gave us a time that it was leaving but then we went downstairs and spoke to the receptionist and she said you know, I might as well go and lie back down go back to sleep because it's not leaving until 4 Rest. now 4 a.m <laughs> and I was just like oh my god are you serious so we went back to sleep and then so I went back to sleep Sean turned off the light for the first time I was actually excited to sleep you know normally I fight sleep like I don't sleep this time I was ready, turned off the lights, the ambiance, and then about 20 minutes later we got the call. Ring, 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 <laughs> ring, ring, no one could be asked to answer the phone, except to Leah. Everyone was looking at the phone like they don't want to answer it, so I had to answer the phone. And then they let us know that our, our coach is downstairs In 15 minutes. Oh. So we'll get ready. I had to jump up quick time, dash back on the clothes that we backed off. Yeah. Now we're at the flipping airport and mm. everything's shut. Like I wanted to get some gifts and stuff for people or check what alcohol they had. I was but, after some sunglasses as well. Yeah. But um, yeah, so we couldn't go to duty free because it's closed. Can't get no alcohol, can't get no sunglasses, mm. can't get no gifts. Mm. And hopefully there's no further complications because we're a bit upset to be honest. Mm. Like. At first it was alright, like a day extra, all of that, all of that, but now it's just like, it's dragging on. Yeah. So they will be hearing from us, like we need some compensation. And that's a tip for everyone, like, when you travel, please get travel insurance. And if there is anything like this, please make sure you make a claim because your voice counts. Your voice counts. Like, they can't just take the mic and expect passengers not to do anything, you know? Mm. Like, they knew a whole, how many hours before? Then you like the night before, and then they told us the next day. So it's like if we didn't phone you, we wouldn't know. We'd still we still didn't know. We'd have turned up at the airport, We've ready to like go. So, but never mind. That's what it is. At least we're here now. I got my nectarine now. And as you lot would say, is. it's coming home. Nah, football ain't coming home. It's coming home. Nah, it's not still. Nah, I don't know if it's coming home to be honest. This but. is coming home now. Look at that. Out of the yes. No football fans get mad at me, but. <laughs> Not sure if it's coming home, but I'll just say it. France is gonna beat them, I think. France. Anyway, no football talk on my channel. Please. Let's go. <laughs>
Bye-bye.